Forever can never be long enough for me I feel like I've had long enough with you When people look at us, they see two people who really connected. And I know that's such a eHarmony.com expression, but on certain levels we connected in all ways. Our interests were the same, our personalities are close. Can't really put a finger on what it is, but it was just instant. I finally found somebody that I know is going to love me forever. I'm really looking forward to starting this new life together. Stephen and I were set up on a blind date at Gibraltar. I'm going to say May 21st. I saw a green Mercedes pull in. He gets out of the car. He's like, are you Katie? And I'm like, are you Stephen? <laughs> I looked at her and I just said, wow, boy, she's very attractive. I gave him a big hug and I was like, let's go and have dinner. We ended up being at Gibraltar for five hours. We really connected right away. Throughout our conversation, she was very well-spoken, certainly acted way more mature than I imagined given her young age at the time we first started dating. It was interesting because we started talking. We had a lot in common. There was something intriguing. We were on the phone, and by the next weekend, we went off to Fagers Island together. And we had a really, really good time. That's where we first started to know each other. It's always refreshing to go back there because then we explore our beginnings. And I would like to say that that's probably where our beginnings are. Promise me you'll always be happy by my side. Most memorable trip is definitely when we went to Germany and Italy. We had such a good time. I carried this ring around in my pocket for the first week, always scared that it was going to fall out. I did not think he would actually ever do it. And I just thought Venice might be a special place. We got a gondola. So I told the gondola driver to go off on some other canals off the beaten path, and I had the ring and a tissue, and I acted like I had a little bit of a cold, and I put the tissue down, and I asked Katie to open it, but who asked somebody to open up a napkin that you're using to wipe your nose? So she was reluctant. So she opened it up and she saw it and then she saw it fall to the floor of the boat. I was scared to death. I was so shocked. I thought I was watching a foreign movie. Picked the ring up, gave it to Katie. The gondola driver was singing something in Italian and I asked her to marry me. He actually asked me, will you be my bride? And about 45 minutes later, she remembered to say yes. I was for the first time in my life speechless. I could not get the words out. He finally did it. But then I said yes. It certainly was a moment I'll never forget, giving her that ring. It was the most emotional, romantic, speechless time of my life. Marry me. Mm -hmm. I was born and raised in Lebanon. This is me. See the handcuffs? Voted most likely to go to state prison. Came from a very tight-knit family. I really was raised with some strict discipline, and that might be one reason I sometimes as mischievous as I am to this day. This is the various phases of Stephen, as you can see. Any gathering was always special, though, with Mama Minnie and Edie. They were the matriarchs of our family. I was born in Nuremberg, Germany. I grew up bilingual, so I went to German kindergarten and American kindergarten. We moved back here permanently to the States when I was in third grade. As a child, I had a lot of friends, but I was very competitive. I always had to have my way, which is not a good thing all the time. That's my brother, and there I am. That one's my brother at his high school graduation. I especially like the flowered shirts. If my brother Peter was here today, I know he would think of Katie, as we all do, as a beautiful person. Peter would probably have as much fun and love for her as I do. 
My dad, like Steven, he knew, he knew. Gunter and I hit it off right away. His personality is such that he too is so outgoing, so charismatic in his approach that in speaking with him, and he was well-read, well-spoken, a brilliant and intelligent man, we could carry on conversations that you wouldn't carry on with just anybody. So although I only knew him for a short time, the amount of time that I shared with him certainly lasted a lifetime. When we went to Italy a couple times, he always was saying, oh, the gondola rides, and they're so romantic. And it's so crazy. My dad and I talked about it, and then it happened there. So it was just kind of like a bittersweet time. My dad would be excited. My dad would be asking me, like, what kind of tie you should wear. He would, no doubt, be walking me down the aisle. It means a lot to me that a lot of you have met my dad, you've known my dad, and it's really extra special because you feel like he's actually here with us today, and it just really means a lot. Also in our lives, I have two children, Peter and my daughter, Julia and watching them over the years with Katie and the maturing process that we've all undertaken since our relationship, it's a nice mix, not only in ages of everybody, but in the personalities of everybody. I support them and anything they want to do. All of our personalities do mesh with each other, and it's very refreshing to see a woman such as Katie be able to, to treat the children as if they're her own. From our first meeting, we felt very connected to one another on various levels. The maturity level, mutual interests. We love to like travel and experience different places and culture. Things we enjoy to do together. We like to try different restaurants. We love going out. Certainly had that compatibility where it was really refreshing that there are two of us from diverse backgrounds, different backgrounds different errors, if you will. We're able to at least see common ground. He's always willing to try something new. favorite thing about Katie happens to be her personality. She's so outgoing, vivacious, bubbly, caring. They use the expression that she lights up a room, and she truly lights up a room, no matter what we're doing. And it's fun for me to just sit back and enjoy her personality, because her personality is as big as bright as Katie Peterman herself. We really know each other now, and I think that's like so important. We know how to deal with our little quirks and to spend the rest of our lives together. It's funny, because I can finish Stephen's sentences. What Katie's taught me about life is to enjoy it more. The positives always outweigh the negatives. To be focused on what you're doing and to look towards the future. I'm so excited for the wedding. I'm nervous, I'm excited, I'm ecstatic. I really feel like it finally came full circle. This, can be the end of everything. this is gonna be a very interesting lifetime and it's the trip that I wanted to book all my life. Somewhere only we know. Somewhere
Is it the look in your eyes Or is it this dancing juice Who cares baby I think I want